Yes Me Youth stands for the Youth Employment Service. It's a non-profit that was established by the private sector with the presidency and the labor movement a few years ago. And its function is really to get youth into their first private sector job. So they created a program which is 100% funded by the private sector. It's based on incentive from government that if the company supports these youth, that the company can go up two levels in its BE scores. So during the two years of the pandemic, YES created 79,000 jobs, about a run rate of about 3,000 jobs per month, which makes it the largest youth employment program in practice in the country. These are jobs that wouldn't have been created otherwise, and more or less, we'd say about 4.5 billion rand has been paid in salaries to these young people. And most of them, 90% of them, come from households that would otherwise or are dependent on social crops. Yes Me Youth uh, supports companies in the green economy. These are companies which are either uh, involved in the production of green power or companies which are in the business of reducing carbon or CO2 emissions. And what they want us to do is help find a solution for them to be involved in the green economy. And in that regard, we have a turnkey solution for them where we uh, have implementation partners that work in the green space. So we help this company, our client, to basically place youth into a very pro-green economy programs. What we also do is we develop ESG reporting for clients. We also focus on getting those reports prepared for a company that comes to us and says, look, can you help us? Well, the one thing we know for sure is that the youth of today are very aware of climate change. So we have uh, youth that are most aware of what they are looking for, what are the opportunities that they can have uh, to make a difference. So in the future, most of the jobs are going to have to be green jobs. So from a youth point of view, we're trying to look at how do we create opportunities for youth to get into these jobs, to gain skills and experience that shows that they know something about sustainability. Based on international research that there's about 1.5 million jobs available for South Africa and green economy over the next 10 years. These are in specific sectors such as building, construction, social housing that have to go green, parts of manufacturing. Most of that will be in the building and construction side. So the first barrier for a young person is that they'll be asked before their first job, uh, do you have experience? It's a silly question because obviously they don't have experience, they haven't had a job yet. But in a very competitive market, you, that's the conundrum, right? You, you need experience to get a job, but if you don't have a job, how are you going to get experience? So how YES breaks that cycle, it offers an incentive to a company to help the person get a job. The other barrier that is beyond the control of the Youth Employment Service but will make our lives much easier is if, as a country, we can get economic growth going. The Youth Employment Service focuses on working with companies to help companies get their BE scores up by putting youth into jobs. But beyond that, it's also about getting uh, youth into green jobs. We actually help them both from a jobs and a sustainability impact perspective. And, you know, if we can do that consistently over the next few years, not only will it be the biggest impact program for youth in South Africa, but we will also be one of the biggest impact programs for environment.